Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again and welcome to the first Sunday service presentation with the revelator. And hoping all those that have been following our daily sermon presentations, you have been equipped by the word of God. You have been strengthened. You are being given courage. You are being given knowledge and understanding in the name of Jesus. Today, in the first presentation of the day, which marks the first presentation, as we usually give a first presentation, which is called the morning service, I want to present a unique presentation, which the Lord inspired me. And I want to talk about gratefulness. I want to talk about the gratefulness. And inside gratefulness, I'm going to be talking about the generous act. Inside gratefulness, I want to talk about the generous act. And I'm looking forward that you'll be inspired by the Holy Spirit to pay attention to this teaching. Now, for us to understand more on gratefulness, the generous act, let us get into scriptures in the book of Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17 verse 12. And it reads, And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood far off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Master, have mercy on us. Now, Jesus enters into a city, and from a distance, there appeared ten lepers. And these ten lepers, all of them, they wanted to be healed. They wanted to be made clean. And when Jesus saw them, he said unto them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And this is after Jesus has made all of them clean. And they were all ten. After the healing, Jesus tells them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. And the reason they are going to show themselves to the priest is not only a religious reason, but a reason that defines the clarity or the confirmation of a testimony. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned to break with a loud voice, glorifying God, and he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. We have read about the parable of the Good Samaritan. And this time we are hearing that the one that came back out of the ten just to give thanks was also a Samaritan. I'm talking about being grateful and I'm talking about gratefulness. Jesus is able to offer a healing. Jesus is able to offer deliverance. Jesus is able to clean Ten lepers, but only one is able to understand the generous act that has been performed. The generous act that has been provided. He does not take it as a privilege. He does not take it also as a right. But he understands that he has to go back just to give thanks. Which is something that is lacking in most Christians after deliverance. Which is something that is lacking in most Christians, in the prayer room, we are now trained to give only prayer requests, but we are not trained to go back in the prayer room just to say thank you. And Jesus is asking, when one has come back, Jesus wants to understand, were there not ten of you? How come only one has come back? 
How come only one has come back when I have already calculated and understood that I made 10 of you well? I cleaned the 10 of you. How come only one has come back? The reason why only one has come back is because the only one that was meant to get deliverance is the one that came back. The one that can only understand the generous act that has been provided, the generous act that has been performed, is the only one that deserves to be healed. Is the only one that can only understand that after being given something, you need to say thank you. Now, let us go to the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 14. And Jesus gives a parable saying, For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling into a faraway country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his own goods. And unto the one he gave five talents, and to another two, and to another one. Now I need you to understand this. This is a generous act that has been performed here. The fact that the master is offering his servants talents, he offers one five and the other he offers two and to the other who was the last one he offers one now the one that has been offered one talent should understand why he has been offered one talent and the one that has been offered five talents should also have an understanding why he has received five talents including the one that received two but the bottom line is that all of them the three of them should understand the level of the generous act that has been demonstrated or performed by the master and after the master is offered the three of them talents at different levels he then sets off for a journey and when he sets off for a journey he leaves these three expecting them to make profit not only for the kingdom expecting them to make profit not only for themselves but for the master we have been given gifts that have been given by heaven. One is good in administration. One is good in management. One is good in spiritual demonstration. One is good in this and that. And all those gifts that you have been given, the first thing that you must recognize is that there is a there is been a generous act that has been performed or demonstrated by heaven in the sense that what you have been given you have been given that thing without a condition it has been offered unto you as a gift and what you are now supposed to perform what you are supposed to give back is that level of being grateful to prove that you are also a generous character that can be thankful then afterwards, he that received five talents went and traded. The one that had received five talents, he did not sit down and just say, I only received five talents. He did not feel that all the talents that he had received, they were enough. He knew that he had to go out there and multiply what he was given. The one that was given five talents, he did not just sit down and say, I've been given inheritance. And therefore, I should just sit back and relax and do nothing. The one that has been given five talents, he did not just go around breaking that I'm the one that was given many talents. He started developing at the level that he was given. The reason why rich people continue making more money is because of their character. The reason why rich people continue making more money is because of the abundance which they already have. When one already has abundance, there is a, pro there is a probability that he, he can be followed by more abundance. When one has got plenty, there is a higher possibility that he is bound to get even more than what he, he received why because of his level of status in the spirit 
this is why it's easy to receive from one that already has plenty than to receive from one that is leaky why because the one that has got plenty now understands that development can only come when you multiply and development can only come when you receive more the one that had received five talents did not just go and sit down and the level that he demonstrates is is the evidence of why he received five talents he goes out there to prove why he received five talents he goes out there to prove that he already had the capacity of handling five talents he did not just sit down and become ike so another level that he demonstrates here is the level of showing a, a, a level of gratitude to his master he was thankful and he went to trade and he, he multiplied himself and he made five more talents he did not just sit down and complain he did not mistaken his master's kindness as a weakness he wanted to show his level of being grateful he understood the generous act that had been provided and likewise he that had received the two talents he, he also did not sit down and complain and say why did you give this one five talents why didn't you make us equal that's not what he did but he went out there and it said that the two talents that he had been given he did not just sit down and start comparing the talents that he had been offered and the one that had been given to the one that was that was given five talents there are people that are presuming themselves to be poor why because they, they are comparing themselves with those that have a certain level of materialization but what you don't understand is that those that are materialized they did not sit down for them to be where they are what you are not understanding is that those that are material they did not just wake up at that level they were able to be thankful at the level of the few things that they had received they did not just sit down and complain over the few that they had received they were able to acknowledge those little things those few things and they were able to trade their talents they were able to trade their gifts they were able to expand themselves at the level that they had been given so the one that was given two talents he did not just look down upon himself he did not look at the five talents that were given to the other one he went out and traded at his level of two talents he did not just sit down and, and complain and likewise the one that had been given two talents he went and traded and received two more talents but here's the crisis the one that received one talent went and did in the earth and hid his lord's talent and in another version it says he went and hid his master's money which was only one talent now there is an attitude that has caused the one that received one talent to behave in such a manner in other words before he even reached the level of understanding why he hid one talent there is a complaint there is a grievance there is mumbling there is grumbling that has been detected inside this servant it means he went and sat down and started comparing why did i only receive one talent why did my master look down upon me at this level how can i trade only one talent people that don't realize a generous act they are known for complaining and even if after you give them something even after you offer them something they don't show any level of being grateful people that are known for not realizing a generous act they are known for scrutinizing they are known for criticizing they will never realize a generous act instead of him taking advantage of the talent that he had been given he went and hid that talent under the earth 
And while he still was hiding that talent under the earth, he was grumbling inside of him. He was complaining. While he still the five, he had made five talents. While he still the one that had been given two talents, he had made two talents. The master that has traveled to a faraway country is meditating and calculating that when I go back, I'm going to receive 10 talents from the first servant. I'm going to receive four talents from the second servant. I'm going to receive two talents from the one that I gave one talent. But it does not understand that amongst the three, the one that has received less is the one that is not realizing the generous act. The one that has received one talent is the one that is not thankful. I've since realized that the people that are poor, they are the most people that are complaining. This is why they are poor. The people that are poor, after being offered something, they are the people that don't show a generous behavior. The people that are shown kindness are the people that mistaken your kindness for a weakness. The people that are offered something are the people that go around speaking bad about you. The people that are offered one talent, they are shown, they are shown their behavior. They, are, they characterize their behaviors at the level of that one talent they have been given. And before they are given one talent, they prove why they have been given one talent. I hope someone is understanding what I am saying here. The last seven has been given one talent. And instead of going to trade that one talent, he goes and he digs it under the earth. And after digging it under the earth, this is what this is not what the master is expecting. The master is expecting production. The master is expecting profit. The master is expect, expecting you to trade. But why are you going to hide it? It means he has got a reason, but that reason is not showing gratitude. Now let's wait and find out why he went and hid that talent. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came back and so the one that received the five talents came and brought other five talents saying, Lord, you delivered unto me five talents and I've gained five more. And the Lord said, well done good and faithful servant the lord is able to commend and to thank the first servant why because he has understood and he has appreciated and he has realized and he has reckoned a generous act and same applies to the one that traded two talents and received two gifts and same applies to the one that traded at the level of two talents now the one that had only been given one talent was then presented. And after the one that had been given one talent was given the podium, he was given the platform. And everyone was now expecting that they are going to hear the one that has been given one talent giving a testimony of how many more talents that he made. But you are going to get shocked. Why? Because those that are poor, those that are given leaky, they are already given leaky because of the amount of the generous behavior, the amount of generosity, the amount of being thankfulness, the amount of gratefulness that has already been detected inside them. They are already given one talent because it is already known the level at which they are grateful. Then he that has received one talent came and stood on the pulpit and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man. Listen to the way that one is not thankful speaks. Listen to the way that one is not grateful speaks. Before you even recognize, before you even realize that he did not make profit in life, listen to the way that he speaks. He says, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not strode, and I was afraid that you would take my one talent. Listen to what he says. He says, I was afraid that you would take one, one talent that you gave me. 
why would you be afraid of being robbed the only thing that you have received why would you describe so negatively the one that you have assi that has assisted you the people that don't realize the generous act are people that are not grateful the people that don't realize the generous act are the people that complain and they accuse those that are their helpers if you want to see the people that will speak bad about you if you want to know the people that will go around speaking negatively about you they are the same people that you have offered help the same people that you have offers offered assistance those are the same people that go around speaking bad about you i'm not talking about the people that you never offered anything i'm talking about those people that you have offered a place on the royal table those are the same people that will go around speaking bad about you and he says i was afraid and i went and hid my talent i knew you to be a hard man i knew you to be an evil man listen to the man that does not understand a generous act that was performed in his presence listen to the man that does not understand the level of gratitude that he was offered listen to the man that does, does not understand the word that is called thank you and his lord was frustrated and he said you wicked and slothful servant you unthankful servant you servant that is not grateful you knew that i reap where i have sought not and gather where i have not stored why then didn't you put my money into the bank so that at my coming i can receive profit what the master is simply trying to say is why didn't you at least make profit if you knew that i was not a man that just offers anything for free people that are not thankful they are not profitable people people that are not grateful they can never recommend anything that it gives them profit people that are not thankful they can never understand your generous act i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying and the lord commanded that the one that was given one talent that one talent is taken away from them child of god i'm here this present day in the first morning sunday service to rebuke any level of spiritual character any level of attitude that does not recognize a generous act i'm here to announce to you that as long as you don't show any gratitude as long as you don't show any level of being grateful as long as you're not able to say thank you the heavens will never open as long as you don't understand that jesus died for you as long as you don't understand the level of sacrifice that has been made by someone else the heavens will never open i want to pray for you that you are given the spirit of humility you are given the spirit of understanding the gratitude the generous act in the name of jesus